I know it's been quite a while since I've done a snapshot review, but this one I just had to because it's just, it's just so good. In the latest snapshot, we got these things called Echo Shards. And what they do is they, well, you find them in the deep dark, of course. And what you can do with them is, let me grab a crafting table. And what you can do with them is you could take, yeah, there it is. You could take a compass, do this. Surround it with the shards, and you get the recovery compass. Now what the recovery compass does is, if you have it, and you die, it'll point to your last death point. So, just throw this over here. Now, it points to over to the crafting table to where I died. Pretty neat, huh? This is, this would be, this is gonna be so useful in, like, survival world, if you know, like, but I feel like you'd have to keep this at your base, so, like, you don't have it with you when you die. Oh, right, uh, we have all the mangrove wood. Uh, let me just set this up real quick. Alright, that should be everything. So, of course, you got, you know, trapdoor, door, wood. Now, you actually got this, which is the muddy roots. I don't, I don't think I know what this one does quite yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does the same thing as the normal mud blocks, but... That's not really important. This is the leaves, pressure plate, you know, all this stuff. Oh yeah, we got the chest boats. Look at that. Pretty neat. I think you can access, yeah, you can access from the outside. And what we got here is the mangrove propagule, uh, which, hold on, I'm gonna set some up one more time. If we plant this in water, uh, if we set the, that, yeah, this happens. We get mangrove tree, and then we get these propagules that hang on here, and guess what happens when they break? Well, I mean, you could just break them and you could replant them, but overall it's pretty cool, and the roots on these things are insane, bro. We got vines, the leaves look insane. A lot of people say that the, the logs look like a roast beef or something. You can like set it up over a fire. Something along the lines of this, I guess. And I, I honestly, I could see it. Like, if you look at the, I'll put up a picture of like a roast right now. Pretty similar, huh? Yeah, but like overall, the snapshot, the one one point nineteen is going to be such a good update, and I can honestly just not wait. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we have froggos, froggies, ribbit, and can breed them with slime balls, I think. All right, now one of them is pregnant, and it's gonna find, uh, look how high they jump. So cool. Okay, yeah, so this one's, I think this is the pregnant one. It's gonna walk over to the water, and it's gonna create a frog spawn, which, you know, eggs, tadpole eggs. And if you look closely, it's actually translucent in the hand. Do, do they not work? Is this, uh, well, either way, yeah, forget the frog spawn. I'll just summon a tadpole. I had one earlier. Yeah. Tadpole. Also, they could swim. Yeah. Little tad boy. What I was trying to do with the frogs was if they eat something, they'll eventually throw up something called a frog light, which is basically a sea lantern with the texture of a mushroom stem, but the frogs just wouldn't eat anything, so... It, uh, I, it, now you know. More snapshot reviews will come in due time. Uh, you know, whenever they come out. Anyway, subscribe. We are about this many subscribers away from 400, so hit the subscribe button. You know what it is. And goodbye.